Hi guys, in today's video we will talk about in situ and ex situ conservation and then talk about how international cooperation really helps conservation efforts and we'll finish with an exam style question. Conservation in situ basically means uh, you're trying to conser conserve a species within the natural habitat. Um, essentially, it attempts to minimise human impact on the natural environment and also to protect the natural environment um, and the species that it houses. There are a few ways of achieving this. Uh, firstly, you can just pass legislation or laws um, and make certain activities illegal. And this has certainly been the case for things like hunting and poaching, uh, logging, which destroys habitats, and also um, clearing land. Unfortunately, as legislation is specific to countries, um, it can be quite difficult occasionally to persuade some countries that the legislation is necessary. And this also means that um, it may also become difficult to enforce this legislation, especially if the government is not in favour of it. Um, and this is where international cooperation comes in, but we'll look at that in the next video. So the other way that you can keep animals in their natural environment but still look after them is through wildlife reserves. So, um, I mean, as well as wildlife reserves, there are also land agreements on private land and farms. Um, but basically, this just designates a certain area um, for simply the conservation of habitats and species. So how do you choose the land that you're going to make a reserve? Well, um, there are a few things you need to consider. Um, car. Uh, so C stands for comprehensiveness. So this means how many species are actually represented within the area that you're choosing and what are the environmental conditions that are currently in that area. The second one is adequacy. Is the area that you're choosing large enough to provide for survival, not just in the short term, but also in the long term, and survival of all the species, populations and communities within that area? Hey guys, to continue watching this video completely free and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level biology videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.